This is Echinacea Sombrero Baja Bergen. It's a bright red. I, if you've been watching these, you know how much we love coneflowers. This is a, yep, it's a true coneflower. Oh, I guys. cannot wait to see this in bloom. Hey everybody, Sean and Allison here from Spoken Garden. Hi you guys, happy Thursday to you. It is day 136 of the Quarantine Gardeners. If you don't know, that's us, and this is our daily video log of us accomplishing different projects around our garden while under quarantine. And we're so thankful you're here. If you've been with us for a while, we want to say a special shout out to all of you for following along with us yep. and commenting and watching our videos. Thank we you. really appreciate it. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on the daily videos. So guys, today we wanted to give you an update on the All America Selection plants that we received earlier this year and how they're doing, how they're looking right now. Yeah, if you guys remember, if you saw that episode, we unboxed this really cool selection of plants. They're all AAS winners, like Sean said. It was a blend of edible plants like tomatoes, peppers, stuff like that, and ornamentals like a coneflower, a black-eyed Susan, and we want to show you how they're doing so far. So let's get to the plants. Get to the plants. So guys, here are two pepper plants that we received from AAS, and uh, they're looking really good. They're looking healthy. They haven't grown as much as we thought they should have, so it's, it's interesting to see them at this point and uh, see where they're at. They're definitely bushy, and they're starting to flower, so that's good news. And this is called uh, Roulette F1. Yeah. Yeah, they and look nice and green. They're getting full sun, and so we're hoping they produce some peppers. And again, with these AAS winners, we are trialing them out here in our garden and just seeing how they do out in our garden, out in our zone and what happens. And you guys might be familiar with our videos. We don't really do vegetable gardening. That's, um, there's so many amazing other YouTube accounts and different websites that cover that. And we like to do just generally garden care. So you probably haven't seen us talk about vegetables or any edible type herbs or whatnot too much. Yep, that's why we focus mainly on the ornamentals and the flowering plants, so. This is fun for us. It is, this is, this is a little bit different. Those are the two pepper plants we got from AAS. Let's look at the tomato plants. And you guys. Oh, hey, look, there they are. We have been actively <laughs> pruning these and every day we come out here and do a little more pruning and they're just, they're exploding. Mm -hmm. They love it. I can't even remember exactly where the plants are at this so point. We thought we only got about four different plants from AAS, but really we got seven because some of the pots had two plants in each pot. And so they're all this back row right here, just along here. And so there's seven different plants in here and look at them, they're really doing good. I know, they, okay, so we have three different kinds of tomatoes we were sent. This is tomato apple yellow in the front here of our bed. Yeah. I believe there are two plants. Let's see. Yep, look at those guys. Now, don't they kind of look like apples? They have an apple shape to them, don't they? So, uh, the third plant is tomato early resilience, F1. So this is another tomato plant here that we got. and. Look at it, I mean, all of these, we already said it, but all of these are just looking great. We got them in cages. These guys are really cool. Yeah, they really love this location too. They need full, full sun. And the, the amount of sun we've been getting lately has just, I mean, every day we come out here and they're bigger. So you guys probably have grown tomatoes. You know how it's fun to watch them grow. All right, guys, last up that we got from AAS is Tomato Solano F1. And this is another pot that had two plants in it. So we plan one here and then one right over here staggered. Can't probably see it right there, but it's over there kind of in the corner. We did have a cage for this one, but we didn't have a cage for the other one. So it's just kind of doing its own thing, kind of laying down right now. It's getting those tomatoes. Yeah, it's little getting little a lot of guys. growth. Um, you guys might be wondering why we put all of the plants in the same bed. It's very packed. Um, this is the best spot we have for growing tomatoes or tomatillos, which we grew here last year. It's just a, a large bed, it's full sun, well-draining soil, and they do very well here. So we just packed them all in. Okay guys, we're back out here in our backyard, and this is the potato plant that we got from AAS Winners. This is the- Potato Clancy is the name. We don't, oh, I think the tag's right here. No. There it is. Oh, there it is. Okay. And so guys, this is a fun one. We put the plant in a container here, and it had the one stem coming up, and now look, it's got another one coming up yeah. from the same tuber. It has a buddy. Cool. This is the only potato that's ever been grown from seed that's become an AAS winner. So that's a really cool accomplishment. That is awesome. So um, as you can see by the picture there, they're kind of, um, they look almost like little fingerling potatoes. Oh, yeah. so we're really excited to try these. We are, and this is fun too, guys. We actually have it up against our, uh, our chicken wire here that goes around our other 
raised bed area, it's actually leaning up against and kind of starting to climb a little yeah, bit that's on cool. that fence. That's cool. Didn't expect that. Yeah, we had to use a container because we didn't have any other room. Yeah, we kind of ran out of room. But doing good, looking yeah, really looking healthy. Looking good, guys. We've got two AAS winners over here, both in containers. Oh, yeah. So here's the Rudbeckia American Gold Rush. American Gold Rush, there you go. And this it's is, flowering, yeah, look at that. Yeah, it's it, really filled in. Yeah, it really did. It was a tiny plant before. It's looking like, really good. We've got yeah, some new growth. Look at all the leaves. Oh, it's that's... really grown a lot. I'm really glad to see that. They were tiny before. Yeah, they were. And I am so excited for this to bloom. I keep looking for flowers. This is Echinacea Sombrero Baja Burgundy. And it's a bright red. I, If you've been watching these, you know how much we love cone flowers. True cone flower. Oh, I cannot wait to see this in bloom. This is going to be beautiful. And this thing has probably doubled in the last couple days. All of a sudden, it's just like huge. Yeah, so, it loves that warm weather. It's like, yeah, these coleus. These are beautiful little coleus, bright red foliage. Main Street, Beale Street. Now, sorry, we have a little bit of slug damage on those. And so, guys, these we planted out here underneath our cherry tree. We get, they get partial shade. Uh, part of the day and then they get a little bit of full sun in the afternoon, but not too much and you can see they're doing really good oh. Besides some of the slug damage earlier on, but that's okay. They're still nice and red. They've got healthy growth That reminds me we need to do another treatment of sluggo, yep, more sluggo guys. But they really have doubled maybe even tripled since we planted them. Mm -hmm. They look really good. They're gorgeous. Yeah. Okay guys, well that's the update on the AAS winners. So there is one, there was one little problem. We had a gypsophila, which is, it was a, a beautiful little baby's breath plant. There were two of them actually, and they didn't make it. They got fried. It might have, it's probably our bad. We might have had them in too much afternoon sun because they don't really like that. We watered the heck out of them. We tried to take care of them as best we could, but yeah, we think they got fried. They got really crispy at the end there. So unfortunately they didn't make it. I know, they were beautiful though. So guys, to find out more about each one of these plants and other plants that are All America Selection winners, go to all-americaselections.org forward slash buy dash winners. So that's it for today, guys. And so leave your comments and questions down below for us. We love hearing from you. Give us that thumbs up. Let us know we're doing a good job. And subscribe to our channel so you get updates on our latest videos. And we'll be back tomorrow with our Friday plant chat. We've got a great plant for you for tomorrow. We hope you're able to come back and check it out. And have a great day ahead, you guys. Have a good day, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.